Today on the Man's Retro, Moto X for everyone. <laughs> Not a lot of people are getting them though. Well, what about the Moto G? It's full of good stuff. Now, this is what you want the Vibe Z Lenovo, Ashton. <laughs> Unless we just got pumped. And who remembers Tizen and who's excited about it? Yeah. Now that the Nexus 5 and Android 4.4 is out, do I even need to do a show anymore? Ah. What's happening, Android friends? Welcome to Tuesday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I am David, of course, your Mandroid host. Follow me down there and all those social media machines that, you know, I type in words and it goes somewhere and you see it. I appreciate you guys clicking in, so let's get started. Yes, 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 the Moto G's. Well, there's supposed to be an event tomorrow to unveil the Moto G, but specs, pricing, as well as these press renders got leaked today. The Moto G is a slightly lower ranged phone from the Moto X with specs like 1.2 dual core uh, Snapdragon 400 processor, which 4.5 inch display and a five megapixel camera. Yes, the specs don't sound great, but guess what? It's supposed to have some of that lovely, lovely KitKat on it. The Moto G will be the second phone to be shipped with KitKat. So that makes it a little better just because, you know, now nowadays, I mean, I mean, I remember when Moto X was supposed to be a game changer and a lot of people were like, bullsh... Nah. Well, it turns out it was because it actually got people to not look at specs anymore. Not looking at the hardware, but looking at that software. Now, this might be a borderline low-range phone, but it's still mid-range. But, you know, if for someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of money, because odds are it's not going to be that much money. It, it should be, at least. But if someone wants to get into some Android, it's like some pure Android, because it is pretty pure Android with a couple of awesome features. This is the phone to get, just in time for the holiday season to just get people, you know, those iPhone people like, hey, you should really come over here. Why am I standing like this? Let me know what you guys think though. Are you expecting anything tomorrow from the event? We're really not because it's just a hot dog. And speaking of Motorola, the Moto Maker is now available for all carriers. You guys can go buck wild if you've been waiting for that Moto X because you wanted to design it and you didn't want it in the traditional black or white, but now you can just go buck wild. You can make it pink if you want. Who doesn't like pink? <laughs> Don't go there. So let me know if you decided to use a Moto Maker to get yourself a Moto X and what color did you make it? <laughs> Lenovo is trying to dive into the US market with their new phone, the Vibe Z. This sexy bitch right here has a 5.5 1080p display, 2 gigs of RAM, 2.2 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 800 processor. Whoa! It is a little too big for my taste. <laughs> Never get tired of hearing that. <laughs> Lenovo unveiled a Vibe X over at IFA in Berlin a couple months ago, but I guess that's going to be strictly over there in the international market. They want to bring the Vibe Z over here in the US market. But Lenovo hasn't really taken off over here. I mean, they have excellent laptops. I even have a tablet that's really good too that I got from them. And you know what? They make pretty quality, they make quality products. But now they have Ashton there to, you know, what does he do? I saw engineer in like his new title. I'm like, <laughs> we, we're seriously getting pumped. Let me know what you guys think though. We do get the vibes. Is it looking pretty sexy for you? If you want to check out the full specs and all details, I'll have the article for it down below in the balls area. Let me know what you think. <laughs> then we move over to Tizen. Remember Tizen? <laughs> yeah, I don't really either. Tizen is Samsung's little baby OS that they're, you know, well, Kind of like their backup plan, just in case something goes bad with Google, which that would be really bad if that happened. I guess Tizen's gonna have a couple of versions. They have 2.0 and I read that they're gonna have 3.0, but they also have Tizen Lite that'll be able to be put onto devices that have 256 megabytes of RAM. Who has a phone like that? Now, obviously with Android 4.4 KitKat, Google is trying to remedy that dreadful fragmentation that is plaguing the Android ecosystem, but yeah, it turns out Tizen can go on phones with really low resolution and 256. If you guys have seen the early stages of Tizen, it's pretty boring, it's pretty dull. I don't know if anybody's excited about it. Nobody from Android is going to go over there. I'm sure there will be some, but still, it's nothing really excited about it. Let me know you guys think, though. You think Tizen's going to be, be any kind of a contender in the mobile world? Probably not. Let me know what you think. Well, all right, guys, that's all the Android news I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you like today's show. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Um, also, make sure you vote for the hot, mega hot nerdy girl of the week. It was on last Friday's show. I'll have an annotation at the end of this show. 
where you can go and see all 10 girls and vote which you think is the hottest. Also, make sure you subscribe to my other channel, The Film Junkie, where I do movie news, film reviews, as well as a lot of correct fail videos that everybody seems to like. And also, later today, after this, actually, I'm going to be recording a rant video that I, that's just been kind of mm, building up the past couple days, and it has something to do with the YouTube and Google Plus integration. And no, it's not what you think. I'm actually ranting on the ranters, okay? Because I just, it's just finally gotten to my last nerve. I've watched videos and listened to people, and I'm just like, you know what? It's time to make a video. Look for that, and also check out my websites too, autocorrectfailness.com for some laughs, some autocorrect fail laughs that are nonstop. And also check out filmjunkie.com for your latest movie news and film reviews. Also check Android Spin too, of course, you guys already know that. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Anyways, yeah. All right, guys. I'm David, your Mandroid host, and this has been the Mandroid Show. I almost wasn't going to do the rant video, but man, I saw like two more videos about people ranting it, and it just, that couldn't help it. Now it's my turn, bitches.